welcome back to another video. We are in Arica in the north of Chile on the border of Peru and we are here for the 2022 Arica Cultura Bodyboard. That's the event here. It is running until the 7th of May and I'm super excited to be in the event. We've got a few lay days now. Luckily we've had a few days to kind of relax. We had one day of competition which went really well for me and we have a few days off. So in the background you can see the Morro, that is the Morro de Arica and that is where the kind of borderline was for the Peruvian and Chileans during the Pacific War back in the 1800s, the late 1800s. A lot of culture here, a lot of history. The island that I'm standing on right now has multiple mummies that have been discovered here. There's been a lot of bodies and as you can see quite a lot of construction going on still behind me but it's an amazing place, super lucky to be back here, grateful to be back in this beautiful place and uh, just wanted to show you guys a few sessions and exactly what it's like being here in Arica. show you a bit of the keyhole and where we got to paddle out pretty intense so this is it see China probably a ways a lot to get out there that little gap there is is the keyhole we're jumping into this is where we go every time unless it gets big and then you go paddle from all the way down there but for now this is the zone You can see super low tide, water draining out. Just gonna wait for a wave. Wait for a wave to jump onto. Have this one in it. Here we go. Wait. Jump onto the top of this. whole paddle after this session I'll show you guys how we get back in but looks like some fun ways can I have a fun morning yeah.
event's super special for me. This is where I got my first World Tour win back in 2016. And I'm just super excited to get back. It's always really good waves here. This place is extremely dangerous due to the fact that the rocks are really close to the wave. And at the moment, we've been having some pretty crazy tides. It's uh, quite a rocky and quite a treacherous place to get out, but I am super stoked to be here and enjoying the waves and the times with some mates. It's been a while since we've been on the tour, so it's always good to be back. As you guys might see, this wave looks kind of like pipeline, but just a colder version. And that is why they call it the cold water pipe. It's a really sick left-hander that breaks on a super shallow slab and that makes it super fun for all of us, especially if you're looking for barrels and some big airs at the end. Making it through the first round that I had of the competition was fun and stoked about it, but it's all on to these next few rounds. Getting into the higher rounds and hopefully getting into the final day. So that's the plan for now. Quick little morning sesh, get in the water, 
feel it out fun waves sun kind of rising no clouds which is kind of strange for here but good to have some waves nice to be kind of getting today started and i guess we'll just see where it goes from here if not cut it off from there it's robbie everybody see ya sweet to get into my but i can't pull back though i try to resist i can't fight this and no one